This is so much fun. I love meeting the fans and it's really fun especially to be here in Vegas because I think there's a real spirit of fun here, which is great and the cast has definitely taken that on as well and we've been getting tweets for like weeks now of people that are so excited to have us. So we're, we just feel lucky and it's sort of close to home so it's not too far away for us and we're just really excited to meet everyone. I think personally my favorite thing that we see are the unexpected stories. So I love when you have families that come by and say like, I started watching because, you know, my grandmother started and either she, sometimes, you know, she's deceased or no longer with us and it's really powerful for them as like a connection. and. So that's really special and uh, it depends. Sometimes if you're with one of the guys, you just have no chance because you're like, hi, I'm so nice to meet you. And they're just like jetlining to, you know, Galen or Sean or someone, which is totally understandable. I get it. It's amazing. I mean, everybody has such a personal connection to our show because I think we touch on such universal issues and, and things that are, you know, core family values and things that matter. We can interact through social media and things like that, but it's not the same as that face-to-face -face interaction where you're meeting them and you're hearing their stories and, you know, it's just wonderful. I remember I called my dad on my way over here um, to tell him I was doing this signing and he said, do you remember your first signing four years ago? And I said, I think so. It was at the Coconut Grove in Florida. And he said, do you remember what I told you? And I'll, I'll never forget this. He said, before you sign your first autograph, I want you to ask the person for their autograph and I want you to save it because I want you to always remember that no matter where you are in your career or in your life, that you know everybody's equal and that that was a really important moment and um, I still have it and I still talk to her sometimes on Twitter and it was just a really special thing that I always you know, have to remind myself that we're so lucky to be here and the chance to interact with everybody is just, it's, it's part of what we, why we love our job so much. You know, things are, are complicated because there's still sort of this, um, this looming energy of EJ and Abigail's life, but things are about to get even crazier soon, I think September 12th to be specific. So happy for her, but it was it was really it was a hard blow for all of us. I mean, I, which I think really speaks to who Ali is as a woman and as a um, as a professional and as a friend and a coworker and all these different hats that she puts on. You know, I've only been on the show for four years, but you could be on the show for an under five for just a day. And Ali cares so passionately about her work and she cares so deeply about her character that there's no way you're leaving without her having an effect on you. And so it was um, hard for all of us, you know? I'm, sa I'm so happy for her, but um, for us it was a really big loss.